Hello and welcome to a Burries and Badgers battle report. This battle report is going to see the quest for the Holy Snail, a group of wandering shrew knights, fight off against Vosby's hunt, led by two dog brothers and a badger and owl who join them. This is a friendly fight between the two, a, a spa between two knightly warbands to see who is best. Let's take a look at the lists. Let's take a look at the lists then. So the quest for the Holy Snail first of all, they are royalists and they're an all shrew warband, so they get some bonuses for that. Their leader is Sir Pawain the Brave. He is a knight errant, a shrew on a stag beetle mount. And he has had his strike increased up to a 10, and he has the special rule in addition to his normal ones, born in harness. He then has Sir First of all the Wise. He has no increases to his stats, but he does have the special rule voice of command, which allows him to activate others near him during his turn. Sir Gallison out the Stalwart. He has an increase of his strike to eight and born in harness, so he can take his heavy arm and heavy shield with no negatives to nimbleness. And then Lady Dendragon is the final member with the Apothecary special rule and also a crossbow addition to her sword and shield. Moving over to Vosby's Hunt, they're also royalists, so they're going to get some additional bonuses to strike there. So Sir Reinhelm Vosby is their leader with strike increased to 10 and block increased to 8. And he is taking Born in Harness, so he can also take heavy armor and a heavy shield without the nimbleness negatives, and he can take both of them. His brother Raoul Vosby has the Paladin and is a magician taking the heal spell from the light magic tree. We then have the Badger, Law Longfang. He's had his strike increased up to 10, and he's equipped with a polearm and heavy armor. And Jaffrey Scrow, the owl, also has a polearm and heavy armor. So the two warbands are going to be playing an open battle. It's a straight fight. Now we were using a small game board here, so we used a very simple house rule just to make sure that the larger animals couldn't run around too quickly which was just to simply half all of the ranges so whilst normally the shrews for example would be moving six inches in this battle they just moved three so rolling for secondaries the shrews got purge and isolate so they're looking to try and kill the enemy witch and to split the enemy warband up and they'll get additional benefits for that and the dog led warbands bosby's hunts they rolled for assassinates. They're going to be trying to kill Sir Pawain and capture, taking three pieces of train, which might be a tricky one with only four warband members, but we'll see how they get on. So the first turn, both roll for initiative and Vosby's hunt their win with a six to the five. So both warbands don't really do too much. It's some cautious moving forwards from each, sticking to cover, and a bit of positioning to get in to the second turn. Now for initiative in the second turn, Quest for the Holy Snail wins with a 5 to a 3. They move forwards with just Sir Gallisnout, and then Lord Longfang in his turn decides to move in. He has to sprint to get in so he doesn't get to strike. And what Longfang is trying to do here is the Knight Errant, so he saw Pawain has a special rule which is uh, unique to the Knight Errant's martial code. He has to charge a massive creature if he gets the opportunity. So that's exactly what he does. He takes his turn next and he charges in. He manages to deal two wounds to the Badger. He rolls a nine to the Badger's five. But then his mount stag the beetle stag the stag beetle he manages to win his five it's with a perfect eight and law long fan only rolls a one to block and this results in 15 wounds being dealt thanks to the stag beetle strong three killing law long fang in a single turn uh, this of course was not what osby's hunt were really looking for jaffrey is able to quickly move in and he manages to win and deals 10 damage to Sir Pawain. So there's some retribution going on there. However, ultimately, he doesn't manage to kill him. 
So Ryan Hanvolsby moves forward, and Lady Dendragon has a shot and manages to deal three wounds to Bosby. Turn three then, Bosby's hunt wins this turn for one. So you have Sir Reinhelm Bosby rushing into Sir Gallasnout and attacks, but with a perfect six, the shrew blocks him easily. Now Sir Percival uses his voice of command and activates both Sir Gallasnout and Sir Paul Wayne, so they're all going to attack as part of his action. So he jumps into Jaffrey, the owl, and attacks him, but loses that with a roll of two to three. Sir Pawain now activates. He drinks his healing potion as part of this. You can drink your healing potion as part of any other action. And he rolls a six. He's able to heal six of those wounds. So he's only on four wounds now. He attacks. He is unable, though, to defeat the owl. He loses. A perfect roll of a four means that the owl is able to block him. But Stag the Beetle once again manages to win and deals five wounds to the owl. So Gallusnout is blocked by Sir Reinhard Vosby in their fights. And now we move on to Jaffrey. He strikes, he wins with a six to a five, but due to the heavy shields, that is completely blocked there. Lady Dendragon moves up in her turn. And then Raoul Vosby, the paladin, he moves up and he heals Jaffrey, the owl. He rolls a five, and then he manages to roll 11, so Jaffrey is back up to full health there. Moving on to turn four, we have the initiative. So the quest for the Holy Snail wins this one. And again, we're going to see that voice of command. So striking in, Sir Pawain attacks the owl, but with a perfect four, he is able to block there. He also rolls a perfect four against Sir Percival. So another easy block and again a perfect four against stag the beetle so absolutely no wounds coming in on the owl so gallus now he doesn't do anything with sir reinhelm sir reinhelm is able to block with the shield and jaffrey is then able to strike back causing three wounds to the knight errant taking into seven not quite into the second damage bracket but that leader is taking wounds fast Lady Dendragon takes a shot at the Paladin, but Raoul is able to dodge that quite easily. So Reinhelm hits back at Sir Gallus now, but he is able to do no wounds, and Raoul then heals his brother for one wound. We move on to turn five, initiative this time, and the Shrews win this, so the Quest of the Holy Snail winning. And once again, voice of command, they make use of that activation so that they can all strike as one. But once again, the owl is able to block. So despite the fact that first four has a six to the owl's block of four, uh, the owl once again wins. Uh, so Pawain manages to finally win and deals one wound to the owl. And then his beetle manages to deal three wounds in addition to that. So the owl is now down a damage bracket once again. But, unfortunately, nothing much happens else this turn with the magic failing to go off, the crossbow bolt failing to wound, and both the knights in the other combat failing to hit each other. We head into turn six then, and the quest for the Holy Snail once again wins, rolling a four to the one there. We get a voice of command again. Once again... So first of all, does nothing to the badger. And another crit roll, 8-4 to block the knight there. The beetle manages another two wounds, but the owl is still alive on eight wounds there. No damage coming in elsewhere. The paladin, though, steps in to heal five back onto the owl. But Lady Dendragon finally hits with a crossbow bolt dealing four damage to the Paladin with a roll of a two to the Paladin's one, but after the strength and bonuses for not moving, that is some hefty damage. We move on then to turn seven, and once again, the Quest for the Holy Snail wins 4-2. Voice of Command, another critical roll from 
the owl to block the initial attack from Sir Percival. However, Jaffrey's time is up and the knight manages to win with an 8 to a 2. After the tough and the fact that he's been injured, it only does 3 damage, but that owl is now starting to look quite battered. And this is when Stag the Beetle wins another combat with an 8 to 1, meaning that with his perfect roll he deals 15 wounds and the owl is killed. The fight between Sir Reinhelm and Sir Gallasnout, nothing happens, both unable to wound the other thanks to their tough armour. And whilst the Paladin, Paladin Raoul is able to heal himself for one, ultimately at this point, the Vosby's hunt decides to concede. So at the end of the battle, they were broken, but neither side were able to achieve their secondary objectives. But clearly the quest for the Holy Snail came out on top there with an impressive victory. If you've enjoyed this battle report, feel free to drop us a like and subscribe. It's much appreciated. We do a weekly podcast where we cover Burrows and Badgers, but we also do other games that we play. And we'll see you all soon.